Okay. And Papa Mike in the house as we get ready for heat number one. Nicholas McGathy and Cameron Pritchard on the front row. Dustin Sargent. Dean Gart on the second row. Nick Shell and Randy Shreves have the third row. Larry Moody. Seth Johnson on the fourth row. Stephen Lindo. Dakota Kuhn rounding out the top ten. Connor Perry rounding out the field here tonight. All the drivers getting lined up on the track. Papa Mike, always great to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I know you got uh, snuck, stuck in the snow there for a few days a couple weeks ago. All right, I'm a little rusty at dirt. Uh, let's see how we do here tonight. Here we go, they roll off for the warm-up lads. Track is reset. Forty-two drivers hopped in and qualifying. Twenty-two drivers will advance to the feature. There's still some seats in the stands. Don't forget to hit like and share, follow, subscribe, hit all those buttons. You know you like pushing the buttons. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, all the things, Facebook. Pace car will drop off out of turn four. Interesting point about Volusia. That green flag, especially on restarts, comes very, very quickly, sometimes without the pace car fully on pit road. It has made for some interesting restarts. Kevin Grant cheer uh, is uh, challenging the winner here tonight. <laughs> here we go. Pace truck is pulling in. Barney stands ready, and the flag stand green is in the air. They're down and away at Volusia. Ten laps to go in heat number one. And whoa! Turn three, we've got some excitement around third and fourth. Now they're stacked up. The top two are broken away from fourth on back. They are all over each other. Dustin Big Money Sergeant starting to pull away. Now in third, Cameron Pritchard and Nicholas... McGathy side by side for the lead. What a battle going on from third on back. Dustin was starting to pull away, but Randy Shreves is closing back in. Steven Lindell appears to be in trouble. He's rolling again, though. Dustin Sargent just set the fastest lap of the race here. Cameron Pritchard has gotten to the lead. Nicholas has nothing for him yet. Now, <clears throat> Randy Shreves is closing in. The top four on a breakaway. Larry Moody in fifth. Dakota Kuhn in sixth. Seth Johnson now in seventh. We've got a car around. It is Dean Gart. Caution is out for the first time. Oh, oh Dean sends it in. Gets on the inside, goes around, just managing to not get into the other driver. Man, what a save by both drivers. First caution of the night in heat number one. Everybody getting single file for the moment as the pace laps continue. Cameron Pritchard has the lead. 
Nicholas McGaty in second, Dustin Sargent third, Randy Shreves in fourth, Larry Moody in fifth, Dakota Coon now in sixth, Seth Johnson in seventh, Nick Shell in eighth, Connor Perry in ninth, Steven Slider Lindo in tenth, Dean Garrett is on pit road in eleventh. Lights go out on the pace truck, about to go back to green. Bryce, I'm assuming by greatest spotter in the business, you're talking about me spotting what's going on on the track, right? All right, here we go. Single file on the restart. Pace truck turning on to pit road. Connor Pritchard, or Cameron Pritchard fires. Green flag in the air. Side by side for third. Dustin Sargent was on the move prior to the caution trying to run down the top two. Does he have the time to get there? Top three will advance. Nicholas McGay, the off turn two, pulls ahead. Pritchard on the bottom, right up against the wall. Two to go, caution is out. Looks like Seth Johnson evolved. Down, oh, Seth gets too deep in. Looked like a, might have gotten a little tap there. Yeah, he gets into the right rear tire and it sends him around. Nicholas McGathy still has the lead. Cameron Pritchard in second. It has been close battling so far in heat number one. The top three will advance to the feature. The rest of them have to try and fight it out in the B mains. Remember, 42 drivers started the event. Only 22 will go into the feature. Nick, I'm live on Facebook and Twitch. The video will be live on YouTube later tonight. Or possibly on YouTube tomorrow morning. Depends on uh, how late we get done and how tired I am because I am old. Here we go. Pace truck is in. Nicholas McGathy fires. He's away. Cameron Pritchard down to the bottom, coming to second, but Dustin is charging up. Cuts the run down on Randy Shreves. Larry Moody still right there. White flag is in the air. Out of turn four, McGathy is going to take it. Pritchard comes in second. Randy Shreves comes to third on the last lap as Nick Shell goes, or Dustin Sargent rather, goes wide out of four into the wall. So the top three, Nicholas McGathy, Cameron Pritchard, Randy Shreves, will advance to the feature. On to heat number two. Sean Stevens and Garrett Holsey on the front row. Matt Grimm and Daniel Boyd on the second. Brian Ox, John Short have the third row. Chris Cox, Patrick Spangler on the fourth. Dean Reynolds and Sweet T himself. Ty Dickinson rounding out the field. 
Can Sweet Tea get it done here tonight? Sweet Tea's biggest fan in the stands, cheering him on. She's also the prettiest fan, if I do say so myself. Sean Stevens, the Aussie, is a tough, tough, tough guy to beat in these sprint cars. Bricey Bear knows all about getting uh, getting his butt kicked by Sean Stevens. That is for sure. All right, here we go. One lap to green. Matt Grimm, another one that's going to be tough to beat out here tonight. Daniel Boyd, also extremely fast. A lot of big names out here. Expect to see some of these names we've seen before in the Pro Series on iRacing. Some of these names you'll expect to see later this year when the Pro Series kicks back off as well. Pace Truck is in. They fire Green back in the air. Sean Stevens quickly to the lead. Garrett Holsey in second, side by side. Daniel Boyd on the move. Oh, -ho! Boyd and Grimm side by side, inches apart for third. A little bobble on the bottom allows Brian Ox to start reeling him in. Patrick Spangler also picking up speed now up into sixth. Garrett Holsey just set the fastest lap. Boyd and Grimm still side by side. Does not leave Brian Ox anywhere to go. He goes up top, opening the door for Spangler. Spangler now down to the bottom. Wow. Oh, it's getting close off turn four. Sean Stevens out front. Garrett Holsey right on his bumper. Matt Grimm comes flying by. Spangler is on the move again as well. Spangler down on the bottom trying to get the run under Grimm. That high line off the turn is faster, but that bottom line through the turn is much, much faster. Track starting to slick off in the middle. Holy cow! Spangler really sliding it up the track there. Side by side for the lead. Holes the oh, they get together. Stevens into the wall. Holes he to the lead. Ken Stevens gets back to him. Patrick Spangler has cleared the traffic now in third. Sets his sights on, on Sean Stevens. But Matt Grimm is still right there with him. White flag is in the air for Garrett Holsey. Sean Stevens still trying to close, but here comes Spangler. Holsey's going to pull off the win. Who's going to be in second? It's a photo finish, and Spangler pulls home second. Sean Stevens comes home in third. Wow, what a second heat. Here we go. Heat number three. Miles Jansen, Robert Crowley on the front row. Matt Althoff and Cole Ferguson have the second row. Thomas Mitchell, Joseph Grandy on the third. Stephen Fernberg and Chris Schaefer on the fourth. Patrick Coluccio and Jack Young rounding out the field. Everybody get stacked up, ready for heat number three. Ah. 
heat three of four here tonight. Then we'll go on to the B mains. Three drivers from each heat will advance. Three drivers from each B main will advance. One lap to green. Pace truck about to drop in out of turn four. Jansen will lead him down. Here we go. Pace car is in. Heat number three is underway. Jansen is gone. Matt Althoff looking down to the bottom, but shoots it up to the high side now. Cole Ferguson looking to the bottom, bringing Thomas Mitchell along. Probably trying to reel in the leader at the moment. A big battle going on back here from about fifth on back as they come off turn two, three wide. Settling in two wide off turn four. Chris Schaefer, Joseph Grandy side by side. Just ahead, Matt Althoff and Cole Ferguson battling for third in the last transfer spot. And Matt pulls ahead for the moment. While they're battling, Miles Jansen pulling ahead. Robert Crawley still trying to reel him in. They're back side by side for third. But now Grandy has sights on him. Chris Schaefer starting to reel Grandy in as well. Thomas Mitchell and Steven Fernberg battling it out back behind. Whoa! Big slide job by Fernberg and Thomas Mitchell takes advantage. Althoff now back into third place trying to run down the top two. They are side by side. They're about to go four wide here. Now I know you can go three wide here at Volusia through the turns. I don't know if four wide is going to work, boys. They go back single file for the minute. Miles Jansen has led every lap so far. Crawley unable to reel him in. Two laps to go. Craig Ferguson, or Cole Ferguson rather, slides it up out of two. Had a lot of momentum, but too much slide has to check up before getting into the wall. White flag is in the air for Miles Jansen. Robert Crawley still closing in little by little. Matt Althoff sits in third. The top three will, oh no, we've got one around. Miles Jansen gets the win. Althoff comes home second. And Cole Ferguson finishes third. Robert Crawley as a wreck out of turn four. Wow. So Crawley will have to uh, go into the B main and try and fight his way into the feature. Here we go. Heat number four. Tommy Scott and Caden Berry up front. Brent Hobbs, Trevor Rover, Trevor Royer, excuse me, on the second row. Chad Cody and Dylan Berg on the third row. Brad White and Steve Volg, uh, Vogelsong have the fourth row. Jeffrey Newber and Andy Patton rounding out the field. Tommy Scott was one of the drivers that was talked about in pre-race. When uh, I was talking to the admins before this one, he's going to be one to watch. Nick Berry cheering on Caden Berry at the moment.
Pace car leads him around one more time. Andy Patton did not take to the grid here. One driver out front on the high side. I believe that's Caden Berry. Starting to get a little bit of a blink on here. It looks like it's smoothed out for the moment. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes once the green drops. Pace car is in. They're going to go. Here we go. They're away. Heat number four. Caden still got a bit of a blink on Brent Hobbs trying to find a way by. Chad Cone and Trevor Royer. Oh, we've got a big one out of four. Caution. Jeffrey never involved in this one. Looks like he ran into the... As the whole thing started, wow. Let's take a look at Steven Volsenberg, see if we can see where this mess started. Looks like this may have started with Brent Hobbs. There's Hobbs up on the high side. He comes down, meets with the 11. Everybody packs up. Hobbs just manages to get around. It's like the 64 and 11 were both trying to occupy the same real estate. The 11 is on pit road for repairs. Tommy Scott, Caden Berry, Brent Hobbs, your top three at the moment. They should be getting one to go. Trevor Royer rolling onto pit road. Looks like he's going to grab some quick repairs. Steven Volgensong still on pit road. That car is missing a wing. Or two, actually. Nope, just one. He's just missing the big one. <laughs> There's some tracks you can run without the front wing, but there aren't many you can run without the top wing. Pace truck is in. Here we go. They fire, Tommy Scott is away. Brent Hobbs now in third. Brad Waite in fourth, Dylan Berg in fifth. Oh, we've got one in the wall. Jeffrey Newbert, I believe, was in the wall there. Meanwhile, Tommy Scott just set the fastest lap of the race. Caden Berry, though, still closing in. Brad Waite still has third. Brent Hobbs now back to fourth. Chad Cote in fifth. Now Caden Berry setting the fastest lap last time by as he tries to close in on the lead. Brad Waite in third, losing ground to the top two, but pulling away from Brent Hobbs in fourth. Dylan Berg and Chad Cote still closing in to the, on the field ahead. Caden Berry goes for the lead here. Tommy Scott holds him off for the moment. Barry gives the wall a kiss in the middle of one and two. Keeps his foot in it. Looks to the high side again through three and four. Tommy Scott really making that middle line work, but Barry carries the momentum off too. Shoots it to the bottom. What a move. Now he's going to try a slide job, but the run goes to Tommy. Brad Waite starting to reel in the top two as they battle it out. Dylan Berg now up into fourth trying to take that top three spot. Two laps to go. 
the way these two are battling, Brad Waite's going to be there in a moment. Here we go. Tommy Scott takes the white flag. One more lap to go in Heat 4. Caden Berry tries to move again. Gets the big run off too. Down to the bottom. Slides it up the track. Tommy looks, but he doesn't get it. Caden Berry gets the win for Heat 4. Tommy Scott comes home second, Brad Waite in third. The top three advance to the feature. And it looks like Rhonda got the cheering in just in time to get Caden Berry across the line in first. On to B-Main number one. Nick Shell and Joseph Grandy on the front row. Dustin Sargent, Chris Schaefer on the second. Connor Perry, Thomas Mitchell on the third. Seth Johnson and Steven Fernberg on the fourth. Steven Slider, Lindo, Jack Young, round out your top ten. Dakota Kuhn and Patrick Coluccio, 11th and 12th. Larry Moody and Robert Crowley rounding out the field for B-Main number one. I think Caden Berry might have the biggest fan club out here tonight. Don't forget to hit like and follow and share, subscribe, hit all those buttons. Help us continue to grow. Two pace laps, everybody settling in. Three drivers from this B main will advance to the feature. And Bryce Dickinson can type in cool fonts now. Good job, buddy. I'm happy for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. B main number one. Pace truck is in. Shell leads him down. Green flag in the air. Joseph Grandy in second, but here comes. Chris Schaefer and Dustin, big money sergeant, is char. Oh, we've got a spinner off of turn four. Steve Fernberg is towed to pit road. I think he got yeeted to pit road. See if we can see what happened to Steven. Oh, a little bit of a bump and then a chaos. And he got hit so hard, he got sent to the Shadow Realm and back to Pit Road. Nick Shell, meanwhile, out front, Joseph Grandy and Dustin, big money, Sergeant. The toe, oh, no, Sergeant gets loose off two. Chris Schaefer slips by, takes third. Sergeant now drifting back as he battles it out with Johnson. Dakota Coon slips. Oh, no, Dakota gets together. Looks like Thomas Mitchell caught a piece of it. Caution is out. Let's take another look at this incident here. A lot of sliding as the track starts to slick off. Dustin managed to get through it.
Thomas Mitchell out there with the uh, out there topless. He goes for a wall ride, but the wall corrects him. Dakota Coon, Seth Johnson involved in the incident as well. They are the initial prop. They are the initial ones that get together. Dakota ends up on that inside wall. Nick Shell still up in the lead. Everybody knows this is a, their last chance to try and race their way into the feature. They stack back up for the restart. Nick Shell choosing the bottom line here. Fernberg is back out on track, but a couple laps down. Dakota Kuhn and Seth Johnson both on pit road. Seth Johnson now topless. <laughs> it's all right, Brycey Bear. Here we go. Pace truck is in. Nick Shell shoots the lead quickly. Joseph Grandy, Chris Schaefer battling for second. They almost touch and gives the advantage to big money on the high side. Larry Moody closes in as they're side by side ahead. And side by side as there's a big mess. They're trying to go four wide at the back. Holy cow, a bobble off turn two. Nick Shell, eight laps to go out front, but Dustin Big Money Sargent down to the bottom. <laughs> and the Dickinsons are back in full effect tonight, if you could see my smile now. <laughs> Nick Shell still in the lead. We've got a bit of a battle going on towards the back of the field as they're three wide for about fifth. Steven Lindo, Patrick Coluccio making their way forward. Coluccio now up to 7th, Lindo 8th, they still continue to battle. Crowley on the high side. Crowley makes, oh, Lindo and Coluccio touch, Crowley slips by. Nick Shell still has the lead, but Big Money has caught his back bumper. Joseph Grandy is still right there, a little bit of a gap back to Chris Schaefer now. Larry Moody in 5th. Battling with Thomas Mitchell in sixth. Dustin Big Money Sergeant had problems in his heat. Looked like one of the fastest cars out there. Has fought his way back up into second now here in the first of the B mains. But Nick Shell has led it since the green. Now two laps to go. Can he hold on to it? Dustin, big money sergeant, slides up. Oh, no. Nick Shell is fading. He drifted too high. Out of turn two, kicks the wall. Chris Schaefer slides up into third. Now Joseph Grandy into second. White flag is in the air. And here we go, Dustin Big Money Sergeant pulls off the win. And B-Main number one, Joseph Grandy comes home second. Chris Schaefer finishes third. The top three advance to the feature. Larry Moody in fourth, Thomas Mitchell fifth, Robert Crawley sixth, Patrick Coluccio seventh, Steven Slider, Lindo in eighth, Jack Young, Connor Perry, Nick Shell. Nick Shell, after dominating early on, fades to 11th on the last couple of laps. All right, on to B-Main number two, where Matt Grimm and Dylan Berg have the front row. Brian Oxton, Trevor Royer on the second. Daniel Boyd and Chad Cote have the third row. Chris Cox and Steven Vogelsong on the fourth row. John Short and Jeffrey Newbert round out the top ten. Ty, Sweet T. Dickinson, and Brent Hobbs starting in 11th and 12th. 
Dean Reynolds in 13th, Andy Patton starts 14th, and Dean Garrett in 15th. Bryce Dickinson now saying uh, he his choosing her uh, his pick is Dustin Sargent. Ty Dickinson, who's out on tracks, pick is now also Dustin Sargent. I think it's likely just because his name is nickname is Big Money, but what do I know? The top three from this B-Main advance to the feature. Who's it going to be? Will it be somebody from outside the top ten coming up? John Short, Andy Patton do not take the grid, so only 13 drivers starting. Matt Grimm is definitely a driver to beat in these uh, winged sprint cars. He could dominate here. Time will tell. It's time to find out. Pace truck is in. Grim fires their way. Oh, -ho, we've got one hard in the outside wall. It's Ty Dickinson. No caution yet. Matt Grim continues to lead. Let's see. Caution is out. And let's see what happened with Sweet Tea here. Let's take another look at that. I think he might have gotten a little bit of a tap. There was a lot of bumping on the, on the front stretch. Ty was starting to move through the field. Gets tumbled end over end. He does get the car righted. He'll get to pit lane and get repairs. He will maintain the lead lap, so he'll be back out, still in the fight. Pace truck leading them around. So far, Dean Reynolds has already picked up quite a few spots here. Could be one to watch as this one goes on. But can they keep it clean? And there's a big, big gap. The field is not tightening up. From Matt Grimm, uh, or from Dylan Berg back to Brian Ox, second and third. Now they're starting to pull up a little bit closer. Some of these drivers leaving way too big of gaps out here. It looks like they will extend the caution by one more lap. Lights are out. We're going to go green this time. As close as the racing has been here tonight, when 22 cars take to the track in the feature, things are going to get sketchy. Pace truck is in. Matt Grimm controls it. He fires. Green flag in the air. Out of turn two, Matt Grimm still in the lead, pulling a little bit of a gap on Dylan Berg. Ryan Ox. Trying to make some moves here. Chad Cote making his way forward. Ty Dickinson's in the wall as he checks up. There's cars wrecking caution. Steven Vogelsong involved. Uh oh, off of turn four, the car in front of him. 
I believe that was Chris Cox bounced off the wall, comes down across Vogelsong's nose. No, he didn't bounce off the wall. He just got loose. And talk about wreck avoidance. Wow, that was some great uh, driving by everybody around them to not touch them. Moved several drivers up quite a few spots. Jeffrey Newbert now up three spots into seventh. Dean Re uh, Reynolds up five into eighth. Dean Garrett up uh, six spots into ninth. Ty Dickinson, after that early incident, has made his way into the top 10. They are going to stack back up for the restart. Lights out on the pace car. Matt Grimm will control it. Here we go. Pace car turns to pit road. Grim in control. He fires green back in the air. Dylan Berg now in second. Brian Oxton third. Daniel Boyd up to fourth. Jeffrey Newbert is charging. Newbert down on the bottom has picked up several spots on his way to the front. Oh, we've got one bouncing off the wall. Looks like Newbert just got a little too uh, into the wall there. Meanwhile, Dean Garrett has charged up 10 spots. Garrett slides by, gets two for one on the front stretch, up to fifth. Caution is out, Trevor Royer involved. Oh, a bit of a bump there, going off into turn one. And a car on the bottom just comes up. Great job by everybody on that one avoiding it. Man, that was close. Are you interested in seeing how close that was? From uh, Ty Dickinson's helmet cam. See how close the cars were to hitting him as he went sideways. Great save by all the drivers. It can get closer and probably will in the future, but I think it's a, a pretty safe bet that these guys are going to have a great race because they are doing amazing here tonight. And remember, this is the season opener, so there will be more races. I believe 13 more. So make sure you go check them out on uh, iRacing. Join the Discord. Get in here and race with some of the best. Lights go out on the pace car. Matt Grimm once again controlling it here. Remember in B-Main number one, the driver that led the, uh, and looked like he was going to dominate the whole race, late in the race went back to 11th place. So this ain't over yet. Pace truck is in. Grimm is in control. He fires. Green flag back in the air. 
Dean Garrett has charged up to Holy Cow. We're four wide in the middle of one and two. Some close calls mid-pack. Everybody keeps them going the right way. Dean Garrett, who started at 15th, is now up into fifth, trying to run down Brian Ox. Matt Grimm right up on the wall. Dylan Berg on the bottom. Here comes Daniel Boyd. And a four-car battle from fifth on back. Dean Garrett, Chad Cote, Trevor Royer, Brent Hobbs, all in this mess. Ty Dickinson starting to move up. Oh, Ty is sending it into turn three. Oh, my goodness. Ty and Steve Vogelsong end up in the attenuator at the entrance to Pitt Road. Oh, Ty just gets a bump from Steve Vogelsong, and they both go off into the wall. Ty Dickinson has to tow to Pitt Road. Ty's biggest fan is cussing up a storm. <laughs> you know, for a last minute broadcast, this has been a ton of fun and laughs. Matt Grimm still leads here in the second B main. They'll have five laps to go. Dickinson and John Short still on pit road. Quick look, Vogelsong's car, he did not lose his top wing. He is still good to go. Yeah, Ty, I saw, buddy. You had a great run going there. Matt Grimm is going to lead him down. There is one driver out on track that is missing his front wing. I believe that's Chris Cox. Matt Grimm fires. We are back underway. Chris Cox is up there still trying to make it work without a wing. Meanwhile, Matt Grimm's going to come around and get three to go. A big gap on Dylan Burke for the moment, but Dylan and Dean Gart, what a run by Dean. Daniel Boyd now in fourth, Trevor Royer, Brian Ox battling for fifth. Jeffrey Newbert and Dean Reynolds trying to make their way forward. Dean Garrett right on Dylan Burke's back bumper that Matt Grimm's coming around to get the white flag. White flag is in the air for Matt Grimm. Dean Garrett trying to take second place and old Daniel Boyd behind him. Off into three and four. Everybody sends it hard. And Matt Grimm pulls off the win. Dylan Berg comes home second. Dean Garrett in third. The top three advance to the feature. All right, a quick warm-up as the lights go down. They've got five minutes to make last-minute adjustments and try and make something happen.
Ty, if it makes you feel any better, I had to mute the mic when I said you had to tow to pit road because your biggest fan was uh, cussing in the other room. Last minute adjustments, last little bit of practice for these drivers. If you have a favorite driver in the field, make sure you drop in the comments. Remind them you're cheering for them. There's still room in the stands. You can invite your friends, your family. Hit that share button. And make sure you check out on our Facebook page. Make sure you check out the post from yesterday. It's sponsors. We're going to start having lead sponsors featured every Thursday night. So you guys can go help support the uh, sponsors to help keep these leads up and running and being broadcast. Don't forget to hit like and share and follow. It helps all these leads grow. Helps them get sponsors, helps them keep going, give out prizes. And everything they do is thanks to the support of the fans. Just about two and a half minutes left to go in the warm-up. Anybody got a prediction on who's going to pull this one off? Can Matt Grimm, who dominated the second B main, get the win? Or will Cameron Pritchard, who has been the fastest all night long, be able to pull away and dominate? Or will it be a surprise last minute pass by Caden Berry like we saw in the heat to get that young man a win? All right, ladies and gentlemen, warm-up comes to a close. It's time to go racing. Nicholas McGathy and Grant Holes, or Garrett Holsey, excuse me, on the front row. Miles Jansen and Caden Berry on the second. Cameron Pritchard, Patrick Spang Spangler on the third row. Matt Althoff and Tommy Scott have the fourth. Randy Shreves and Cole Ferguson round out your top ten. Brad Waite, Dustin Sargent starting in 11th and 12th. 13th is Matt Grimm, Joseph Grandy in 14th, Dylan Berg in 15th, Chris Schaefer in 16th, Dean Garrett 17th, Larry Moody starting in 18th, Daniel, Bode, or Daniel Boyd in 19th, Thomas Mitchell starts 20th, 21st is Trevor Royer. Ace truck leads them around. Thirty lap A main. Let's hear the predictions from the fans. Who's it going to be here tonight? Well, 
while they're under pay slabs, we're having to do a quick fix here. Pace truck is in. Here we go. The A main is underway from Volusia. Nicholas McGarrett, the out front. Miles Jansen currently in second, Grant Holsey in third. They are side by side, three and four wide, mid pack. And oh, a close call between Shreves and Ferguson. Matt Grimm now making his way up. He's up to 11th or three. Oh, we've got one over the fence. Out of turn two, flying. Caution. Randy Shreves and Trevor Roy are involved. Randy goes out, just gets turned around, flipped over. He's going to have to go get repairs. Trevor Royer comes up right as he's flipping and helps send him up and over. Royer gets a bit of the fence, but minor damage compared to what we saw from Shreves. Bit of a wild start to this one. Already seeing a bunch of three, four, and five wide out here. Biggest mover so far. Not a big surprise. Dean Garrett up eight spots already. From 17th up to 8th. I'm sorry, from 17th to 9th. I am not mathing well. They begin to stack back up for the restart. Nicholas McGathy and Miles Jansen have the front row. Pace truck drops in. They fire quickly in their way. And coming through one and two, they are side by side. There's battles all through the field. Caden Berry back in fifth, trying to make his way forward. Dean Garrett way up high as he starts shooting to the front. Oh, a bit of a bump there with Matt Alpha. Got one driver in the wall fading. It was Dean Garrett. Dustin Big Money Sargent is going backwards. We've seen him come forward all night. Nicholas McGathy still out front, but Miles Jansen and Cameron Pritchard are right there. Tommy Scott Caution is out. Looks like Cole Ferguson was involved in this. Let's see what happened. Ferguson was loose all the way through one and two, clips another car, complete 360, but manages to get it rolling again. A great save by Ferguson to keep that car moving.
Anthony Rich, good evening out here chewing on Nicholas McGainty. Don't forget to hit like and follow and subscribe and all those fun buttons. A lot of great racing coming over the next week. Sunday morning, GT3 NSS is back as their season starts to uh, come to a close. A very, very close points battle. Sunday night, BRR playoffs continue. Monday night, Jones BS Racing is back. Tuesday night, for the first time ever, XCAL is going to take the street stocks to, I can't believe I'm saying this, Long Beach Road Course. And Wednesday night, the Nowski Nation is back and their Cup Series. Plus, you never know if you turn in tomorrow night, you might even see me in the car. And you figure out why this channel got its name. Here we go, pace truck back in. McGinty fires quickly, green flag in the air. Richard quickly gets by Jansen into second, but they're three wide. Now back to two wide for third place. Caden Berry still in the fight, but here comes Patrick Spangler and Matt Grimm has made his way up to sixth. Caution back out. Garrett Halsey involved. Everybody trying to pick. Oh, they ran out of track there. Halsey got sandwiched, turned around, collected. It looks like Joseph Grandy and Larry Moody. Dustin Big Money Sergeant on pit road for repairs now, as is Larry Moody. And it is dirt tracking on a Friday night under the lights. You know tempers are starting to flare as guys are fighting their way up to the front. Daniel Boyd also on pit road for repairs. Garrett Holsey went in. Joseph Grandy went in. Caden Berry, the 16-year-old, the youngest in the field, currently running in fifth after winning his heat in an amazing last lap pass has been two and three wide almost since the drop of the green here. Nicholas McGathy, Cameron Pritchard line up side by side on the front row. Pace truck is in. Green flag back in the air. Tommy Scott now hiking his way to the front. Cameron Pritchard all the way up on the wall has a big run out of turn two. But mid-pack, they're trying to get four wide on the bottom. Caden Berry kisses the wall on the front stretch as he tries to use the outside for momentum. Bangler now making his way up into the top five. Miles Jansen currently in fourth. McGathy holding off a hard charge from Cameron Pritchard. Caution. Matt Althoff involved. Oh, a lot of bumping down the front straightaway into turn one. Althoff gets a kiss from behind, turned around. Several drivers get involved.
Nicholas McGaty has been able to hold on to the lead so far. <coughs> but everybody has been up trying to find a way past him. A lot of aggression at the back of this field. Guys really trying to fight their way forward. Guys like Thomas Mitchell, who's already up nine spots. Dylan Berg up five. And Trevor Royer up 14 spots into seventh. Trevor definitely going to be one to watch, making all these moves toward the front. Matt Althoff is back out on track. All right, Pace Truck is in. McGinty fires quickly. Green back in the air. Cameron Pritchard way up by the wall. Tommy Scott comes by. Now Jansen comes by on the bottom. Patrick Spangler makes his way back into the top five. Caden Berry starting to fade just a little bit. Royer is on the move. Royer is sending it up the middle here. Up to fifth after starting at the back of the field. They are four wide through one and two for a moment. And Dustin, big money uh, sergeant, is in trouble behind. Oh, a car gets loose, comes up the track and sends sergeant up into the fence. Meanwhile, Cameron Pritchard has managed to get underneath. He is fighting for the lead, but McGathy holding him off for the moment. Tommy Scott right there with him. Miles Jansen sets in fourth. Trevor Royer still marching his way forward using every bit of the track. Cameron Pritchard pulls a slide job, but McGathy gets the right underneath. Cameron Pritchard, wow, well, there are three wide, oh no! Tommy Scott gets into the back, he goes loose. Scott stopped on the back stretch, caution is out. Tommy Scott just trying to keep it off the back bumper. Take another look at that one. That was a close one. Oh, Tommy Scott, he not only kept it off the bottom, off the back, but the car came down on top of him. So Cameron Pritchard now has the lead after sliding by that. McGathy manages to hold on to it in second. Miles Jansen now in third. Trevor Royer now up 17 spots into fourth place. Patrick Sprank Spangler in fifth. Thomas Mitchell sixth. Caden Berry seventh. Now Matt Grimm up to eighth. Dylan Berg in ninth. And Grant Garrett Holsey in tenth. Dean Garrett now back in the 19th place, but still on the lead lap with 12 laps to go. We've seen Garrett charge forward more than once tonight. Can he do it one more time? The car stacked back up for the restart.
Pace truck about to drop in. McGathey and Pritchard on the front row. Pritchard in control this time. Pritchard fires green, is in the air. Pritchard gets a good jump on this one, and Jansen already looking for second, but Spangler up the middle. Trevor Royer on the high side now. Caden Berry starting to come back down on the bottom. They are three wide all over the place. Getting low on laps and oh wow, it gets really close into turn three. They're three wide from third on back. Caden Berry starting to make his way up on the bottom, now up into fifth. Thomas Mitchell still fighting back up top. Trevor Royer in the middle, the biggest mover of the night. Oh, Royer almost gets into Berry. Royer now in fifth. Thomas Mitchell out of nowhere now up into up 16 spots as well. Cameron Pritchard loving what's going on behind him. He's got a gap now of one second on McGathy. Miles Jansen in third. Mitchell in fourth. Royer in fifth. Barry right there in the mix. In sixth place. Barry's got to run. Five laps to go for Cameron Pritchard. They're going to need a caution if they want any chance of catching up to the leader. And the way they're racing here at the back, everybody using every inch of the track, they might get one. Cameron Pritchard has that one second lead over McGathy. Miles Jansen in third now. Trevor Royer in fourth. Caden Berry now clearing a lot of traffic. Back into the top five. Patrick Spang Spangler, Thomas Mitchell, Matt Grimm still in the fight. Two laps to go for Cameron Pritchard. Miles Jansen gaining on McGathy. Royer, wow, sends it into turn three. White flag in the air for Cameron Pritchard. Nicholas McGathy holding on, but Jansen right there with him. Royer still trying to pick up another spot. And Kim and Pritchard pulls off the win. Nicholas McGathy comes home in second. Miles Jansen finishes third. Trevor Royer fourth. Caden Barry comes home with a top five. Patrick Sprangler, Daniel Boyd, Thomas Mitchell, Matt Grimm, and Dean Garrett round out the top ten. And what a finish. We'll talk to our drivers here in just a moment. Drivers lining up on the front stretch for their pictures. The teams and sponsors got to be happy with this run here tonight. Let's start with our third place driver, Miles Jansen. <laughs> hey, Miles, it's Doug in the booth. You got me? Yes, sir. Hey, that was... Uh, <laughs> That was a bit of an exciting race, man. You guys put on one heck of a show and a great uh, hard-earned third-place finish tonight. Yeah, I couldn't have picked a better two guys to lose to. Uh, uh, Dirty South cleaned up the podium, uh, Cameron and Nick and myself. And, uh, yeah, Dean made an amazing setup for us that just run the middle as well as it did. And it, uh, it worked out. Like I said, uh, we cleaned up the podium. You definitely did, and you guys all over the track uh, all night. It looked like you could put those cars pretty much anywhere you wanted to go. Yeah, like I said, Dean had this setup absolutely dialed in. We 
uh, it, it, we all three of us had the same exact setup, and we could all run it wherever we were comfortable with, and we were all clearly the fastest. And uh, it it was a great track, and it was really cool that we could put it anywhere. I mean, as you you got you and all the fans saw that you know Cameron was running higher, and Nick was running lower, and I was running in the middle, and we were swip swapping all over the place, and you could see a couple of other teammates throughout the field running everywhere and passing cars, and uh, it was just a great night all around for us. Well, man, congratulations. A great way to start a season. A great uh, podium finish. Thank you. Miles Jansen comes home in third. Nicholas McGathy coming home in second. Nicholas, uh, I have to say, man, that was one heck of a battle you guys had going on up there. Thank you, thank you. It got a bit wild at times, and there was uh, once or twice that uh, you started to fade a little bit, but we're able to hop right back on it. And uh, as Miles said, your setup, you guys were just able to put it anywhere you needed to go. Yeah, these Dirty South Sim Racing setups, they, uh, they definitely are fast. You, you cannot beat them, I promise that. Well, that definitely showed tonight with three podiums uh, <coughs> out here on those setups, man. An awesome, awesome race. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. I uh, like to thank everybody, and uh, thanks, Miles Jansen, for uh, helping me out here. All right, man. Congrats, man. Thank you. And finally, our winner, and Cameron. Uh, that was one heck of a win. It looked. I mean, you were fast in the heats, but man, uh, that that was quite a show there at the end of the race. Yeah, just the feature was uh, pretty stress stressful there. Uh, it just shot a gap that uh, got me the lead on the top, and. He just got so lucky um, just to not get a caution and, and keep that spot. I have to say, when you shot that gap, it looked awfully, awfully close coming through there. But uh, you, and as many close calls as we saw tonight, that was uh, pretty impressive. And you were running, literally, it looked like you were kissing the wall through one and two at times. Yeah, just uh, I knew that rubbing the tire on the wall, um, a lot of guys didn't know, but I think it'd be fast, and I just knew there was a good enough cushion there to, to run it and just get for the lead. That's all I wanted to do was just uh, run it hard, get to lead, and then just kind of back it off and run the fast middle. So just to get to lead there and had to hold my breath holding that gap, but uh, it worked, and we were get to lead. Well, man, you got it done here tonight. An awesome way to start the season, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I just want to thank the you know Dirty South Sim Racing, you know Tribute Performance Industries, and Bear Archery, Justine, and Miles. Uh, I know Nick is on there, the team, and just everybody on the team. Dave for Spot, and they just work so hard, and just glad to to bring a victory home here. Yeah, I did hear you guys had uh, quite a few spotters out there tonight. Yeah, we we have at least uh, six or eight guys in the Discord, and. It's just fun to, you know, hang out and, and especially, you know, Dean for making these just amazing setups and, and Dave for being just an amazing spotter for me to be able to, you know, shoot that gap or, you know, not, you know, put something in the fence because I know he's not, know he's there. So just thanks to all them guys and just hope to bring another championship home for him. All right, man. Congratulations. Great win. Yeah, thank you. Well, Cameron Pritchard pulls off an epic win here tonight. And a great, great night of racing. Don't forget to hey, make sure you're following. Turn on notifications. You can see some racing tomorrow night in car. And then Sunday, we're back broadcasting in the morning with GT3 NSS and a whole lot more throughout the week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Y'all have a great night.